So we're over in the west coast of Florida all this week working on the big new 2000 gallon or cylindrical reef aquarium. It's coming out really fantastic. I'm getting ready now to fill it with salt water. The odds are really high that I'm not going to be able to photograph it for quite some time, which is fine. But I wanted to take a moment and talk about our passion in having and building really some of the finest reef aquariums and jellyfish aquariums all across North America. It's been really a lifetime endeavor to be in this industry since I was a kid. And there's just a significant amount of incredible desire to really strive to create only the finest aquarium projects. Going from a natural balance aquarium back in 71, where we would collect corals and pieces of rock or ballast stone, live rock and penicillus algaes and oculina or small little brain corals and catch some banded coral shrimp and jewel damsels and four-eyed butterflies and royal gramas and place those in our aquariums as kids to the time when the Lacey Act went into effect and then we ended up with dead coral skeleton aquariums basically setting up aquariums with bleached corals in there and we would again take those corals out and cycle those out as they got algae on them to make it look beautiful we thought at that time but it wasn't natural balance or what we now call the living reef back in the late 80s reef aquariums became more of a thing and it really started a lot in germany we obviously had natural balance aquariums too but going back into history i remember seeing a dutch mini reef over at Dick Boyd's office next door to the warehouse that I moved into next door to Dick Boyd's place, the inventor of ChemiPure. And he had this Dutch mini reef. And then things really evolved. And I started collecting a lot of live rock at that time and shipping and selling it and bringing and importing corals into our offices. So that goes back into the very early 90s, late 80s. And I can remember getting some of the first Acroporas probably in 1990. And I would bring in a whole shipment from Indonesia, which is one type of acropora. It's basically a tricolor acropora. And it was really a turning point for us as a company to then strive to really go at the whole aspect of building only a reef aquariums. So if I go back looking at aquariums through the years, you know, I think of flying in the aquarium at Red Bank Veterinary Hospital. That had been about 19 years ago. And that was in Red Bank, New Jersey. Got a lead for that one and sold them a 2000 gallon cylindrical glass reef aquarium that we flew in with a crane onto site through the center of the building with a dome on top that had a skylight. And they were told that the natural light would damage the aquarium, it would grow a bunch of algae. And I realized that's just not true. The natural light is beneficial and that aquarium is still running right now 19 years later you know each aquarium leads to another aquarium we always are getting referrals from there i had an opportunity to replace dr 80's aquarium at the smithsonian at the natural museum of natural history in washington dc that's now about 17 or more years ago it was a great honor and it became the second most visited item in the entire museum mostly stony corals a lot of that was aquaculture i got most of the fish from AM Aquatics, as many aquaculture clownfish and others that we could get at that time. Pseudochromus we got, Cardinals we got, they were all aquacultured. That aquarium, of course, is still running today, 17 years later. And it comes down to, you know, having the passion to look at the overall space, investing a tremendous amount of time up there to build this really solid aquarium. About 16 years ago, maybe a little longer than that, maybe 17, I was contacted by a design company in Fort Lauderdale and they wanted a big jellyfish aquarium in a restaurant. So that was the very first jellyfish aquarium I ever built at Stake 954. That has been continuously running for now 15 and a half years over there at the W Hotel on Fort Lauderdale Beach. And the jellyfish are growing and thriving. I mean, we've had them grow as large as 12 inches in there. They have to be fed. We have auto feed systems there I learned a lot out of that first jellyfish aquarium and still to this day it is the most photographed item in the whole restaurant the restaurant is fabulous the food is wonderful we typically have our holiday party there for the entire office and their significant others and moving on even further about 12 years ago I was maybe 13 years I was contracted to do a project in Marathon on the Florida Keys it was a 950 gallon bow front bent glass front reef aquarium in a beautiful new house that aquarium was thriving for 
years and years and years. We were contracted to build a really special aquarium that we flew in with a crane into the surf club of Miami Beach. That's about a 1600 gallon Fowler reef aquarium, really in a beautiful place with exquisite millwork and just an unbelievable condominium apartment overlooking the Atlantic Ocean with the, the aquarium. You can see the ocean right from the aquarium. You can see the sunset on the other side through this beautiful apartment that's there. In Atlanta, we built this incredible 6,000 gallon reef aquarium that's now running over six years. It came into the house in three parts and that aquarium is just stunning. It's growing like a weed. We've harvested corals back. We prune the aquarium back. We're there in Atlanta three days a month servicing the aquarium. There's a spectacular residential jellyfish aquarium that we did over here off Las Olas in Fort Lauderdale. That's a 12 footer by 48 inches tall, see-through room divider. Again, just a spectacular installation. Great service in there, great filtration system, water chain systems, and those jellyfish grow and thrive. We put the lights on a mode where you can see the different colors. So it's kind of going through the colors of the rainbow and the jellyfish are lighting up and they're growing exquisitely. It's, it's just a, another great example of how to build a really high quality system. Uh, two doors down from that house is another residence, a family from Boston who moved down to South Florida and we had a really great discussion about building a beautiful reef aquarium. As they start off, of course, they start off more stark, not this thriving corals growing everywhere. It takes time for your reef aquarium to grow in. But again, it's a fabulous example. It's a see-through. Uh, one side is the living room, one side is the gentleman's private office and just another stunning display. Maybe four years ago now, could be five, we were contracted to do a, a great aquarium in Palm Beach. It's downstairs in the lower unit of the residence on the ocean. And the only way to get this aquarium down there was to actually bring the glass down on an A-frame with a rigging company, bringing the glass down through the staircase and then assembling and building the aquarium, the tank itself, downstairs. That took probably six weeks just to assemble and build the aquarium, to put it on the structural stand. That again is another thriving, incredible, beautiful reef aquarium, lots of great fish. There's another really beautiful home on the West Palm Beach side, uh, looking out across the bay towards really South Jupiter. That home is more of a Key West style, really beautiful. Delivered that aquarium onto site and that's growing and thriving now, more of a soft coral aquarium. Uh, we were contracted to do two aquariums down in Ocean Reef, which is a large development down there in the Florida Keys, the northern end of the Florida Keys. There's a Atlantic Coral Reef Aquarium that where we have maricultured corals under permit from the federal government with Coral Restoration Foundation. So acroporids, there's fire coral and there's boulder coral and they're growing and thriving. We put some recordias and other coral amorphs in there and gorgonians to give it more color, but a really great Atlantic themed reef. On the other side of that space is this Pacific Coral Reef Aquarium, all aquaculture corals that I received from a &M Aquatics down in the Keys as well. That aquarium is growing exponentially. We're harvesting corals out because they're overgrowing, both with remote filtration rooms, poly sumps, water chain systems, just really great, robust, dedicated filtration. About five years ago, we were contacted from a builder to install a rather large aquarium in a residence in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, it turns out to become a 5,000 gallon residential reef. It's one of our really incredible projects within 20 miles of our office. Uh, that one, again, I flew in with a crane, had all the MEP. Uh, there's a big transfer pipe underground between the two sumps on either side of it. There's uh, extensive lighting, filtration, water chain systems. We dive that particular aquarium every week, just like we dive the one in Atlanta once a month. If there's at least 250 reef fish in there. It's really spectacular. I even had the opportunity to put sun tubes in through the roof, advise the client and the bullet it would be a great idea to get some natural light in the space. And I was there today and the sun tubes are just light up the space. It's really incredible. About six years ago, we were contracted to bring a jellyfish aquarium up into a high rise downtown Miami. And it turns out 
that it wasn't going to fit in the elevator. So they were putting a pool up on the penthouse of this building. And we determined that the best thing to do would be fly it up there with a helicopter. One of those fun-filled days where aquarium projects bring lots of excitement and you, the thing starts flying up in the air. And I'm like, wow, look at this thing going up to the sky. We put a big Brad logo on the side of it and planted it up there. And that jellyfish tank is thriving up there as well. A couple years ago, three years ago or so, we were contacted from a large hospital, Miami Cancer Center, down there in South Dade with Baptist Health to take over managing their three jellyfish aquariums. They're about 700 gallons a piece on three different levels. You go into the main atrium and there's these big, tall jellyfish aquariums, you know, one on top of each other at different levels in there. That's another really fabulous aquarium project that we took over to really manage and keep them happy and healthy. There's a residential out in Weston that's a about a 575 gallon bow front aquarium too, 46 or seven inches tall, beautiful thriving reef aquarium that's ongoing now constantly for seven plus years. Just another healthy prime example, quality filtration, really well put together, a great cabinetry, beautiful home. And then of course we have our offices too. I have the 1680 right here, which is, has 2000 gallons of operating salt water. This one is now now running about four years and it is a great example of a stony coral aquarium. There's only stonies, there's LPS and hard corals such as Montiporas and Acroporas and it's just overgrowing. So we're harvesting coral out of here now too. I'm thrilled to be able to work on these premier aquarium installations throughout South Florida. So we're finished up a whole bunch of projects, getting ready to go into the fourth quarter of 2024 and continue creating the most fabulous coral reef and jellyfish aquariums anywhere in all of North America and this hemisphere. So remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week.